The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host who comes to you at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, it's uh, I like that Donnie and Marie Osmond song. A little bit of country, a little bit of rock and roll. Uh, we've had a little bit of ups, a little bit of downs. Um, resistance pretty good uh, around the 3,900 area and just above. Um, I think we're going to go into a couple of things over the next few days. First is um, maybe a lot of uh, asking for Blue Boy. If you don't know what that is, it's uh, uh, you hold your breath and uh, eh. You just tell them to ask for Blue Boy. Anyway, uh, CPI Wednesday uh, is, uh, I think, on the radar of most of the big men of Wall Street. I don't know if they're going to do a lot uh, and get in front of that. Uh, then on Thursday, we actually start seeing some earnings. So uh, if we have anything in the next uh, few days coming up, I suspect it is holding our breath until Wednesday. And then... We'll probably have uh, some kind of fireworks for a little while, and then we're going to go right back, take a big gulp of air, and hold our breath yet again for UNH, uh, United Health, uh, J.P. Morgan, Wells Fargo, uh, Morgan Stanley, and City on Thursday. Uh, not so much uh, going on on Friday next week. So, you know, it is going to be a news headline driven market, I think, for a little while. I think that doesn't change a great deal of where we go on the indexes. I do think it matters when, though. And uh, we're kind of going from stoplight to stoplight uh, on these as we go forward in the markets. Am I incredibly bullish? No. Am I incredibly bearish? No. Um, I really kind of thought, for the most part, um, maybe a little down today, and we kind of got that. A little, maybe a little bit up today, it kind of got that. But uh, maybe we can sit here and grind through the next couple of days up in this area and get higher. But uh, option market makers are not uh, thinking uh, that we go much higher or much lower. I'm looking for those folks to uh, start opening the barn door one way or the other either higher or lower but at the moment they're kind of uh, kind of uh, sanguine about just letting the market hang around at these areas at least uh, for the way that they're selling uh, puts and calls so I don't see a lot going on right now um, it wouldn't be beyond the scope of reason to see us uh, uh, push up a little higher or a little lower into the CPI numbers on Wednesday next week and then of course uh, you know, last earning cycle, we really didn't expect um, some uh, earnings that we got. And there's a lot of lawsuits for the ones that went on the downside that should have known that we're out talking the stock up 10 days before earnings, only to have a uh, horrible earnings call where they probably should have pre-announced. So uh, I think there's enough fear of maybe somebody uh, dropping the chalupa uh, on earnings next week. But you know what? It's uh, There's certainly not a lot of pre-announcements. So, you know, if it's going to be out there, it's probably going to be a surprise to the market. Um, again, that kind of changed over the years. I remember when I started trading, uh, the old adage was that someone always knows something. And sometimes they do, but... Uh, the fines and the uh, and the jail time uh, for uh, letting out information uh, became just way too high, and CEOs are uh, pretty playing it 
pretty close to the vest these days. So not only are they telling anybody else, they're not telling their the uh, shareholders uh, even when they need to uh, be pre-announcing stuff. I don't know if any of these things come up. I'm just saying last time we had some big surprises out there where people should have easily been able to talk about uh, pre-announcements if they were going to whiff. And uh, don't know uh, so much if they do or not. Uh, we're going to go through, I have a special request to go through the ARC stocks today and see. Um, like everything that kind of came up off the bottom, uh, off the lows. But, uh, you know, they were heavily shorted. So uh, on average being up 10%, is that a big deal? No. Um can they run uh, Kathy Wood out of that uh, ETF? I don't know. I, you'd have to look at uh, how it's all set up and whether or not she's got bosses. I would have no idea how that whole thing works um, and the corporate structure for her running those ETFs. Um, and really, it probably doesn't matter that much. I tend to use my energies for stuff that I either liked or stuff that will make me money. And not a whole lot really interests me in that. Uh, you can give me a call today at 877-927-6648. You can email me at path at tfnn.com. And especially if you had a burning question, since I'm not expecting a lot before uh, the end of the show, uh, that may take a little while or may be in-depth or may even be more technical in nature, I mean uh, computer technology, electronics, uh, that kind of stuff, uh, give me a call today, 877-927-6648. Uh, let's do a little history. Uh, that'll get us uh, to the break, and then uh, we'll be back, and we'll go through those ARC stocks today. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1776, a 2,000-pound copper and 10 bell, now known as the Liberty Bell, rings out from the tower of the Pennsylvania State House, now known as Independence Hall, in Philadelphia, summoning citizens to the first public reading of the Declaration of Independence. Four days earlier, the historic document had been adopted by delegates to the con. Continental Congress, but the bell did not ring to announce the issuance of the document until the Declaration of Independence was returned from the printer. Apparently, they didn't have laser printers uh, back then. Yeah, savages. That's what I think. Savages. Anyway, uh, of the signatures on the uh, 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 the uh, Declaration of Independence. Whose signature off that, or on, I think it was on it or off it, sold for more money than any other signature out there? Bueller? 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 Well, Mr. Washington, just a hair under $10 million for his signature, the uh, most a signature has ever sold for. We'll be back and we'll go through those ARC stocks. When we return. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a seven million ounce gold reserve in a 16-year mine life. All of this, combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits, this distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 going to go through uh, the ARC stocks uh, as a special request. Uh, and, of course, uh, a lot of these kind of came off the lows fairly well. Um, you did have lighter volume in beam therapeutics. Of course, probably if there's a sector doing the best right now, it is healthcare, biotech, uh, the rest, at least off the lows, uh, probably because they were – they began uh, – they began – uh, before the rest of the market and had a lot of shorts in them. Uh, anyway, Beam Therapeutics did have a nice set test of the previous low, May 12th, $27.77 with 2.4 million shares. You came into it with not really that much lighter volume, two point, uh, two, just hair over 2 million shares. Uh, and you kind of come up, but uh, now we're getting into what should be fairly stiff resistance. Uh, there is a double gap right at 58. And if you were doing a trade, I would have gone uh, for the test of the previous high, which was uh, 41.42. And if it made it through that, which it did with a uh, nice uh, sign of strength, uh, then I would have gone for the double gap. And of course, uh, everybody knows that's been listening how big a fan I am about uh, double gaps uh, being open and being challenged but uh, right there 56 bucks on beam therapeutics uh, that is a combination of the gap down from the what is that April 6th and a gap up uh, that's still open uh, from March 16th so interestingly enough but getting close uh, to probably topping out, at least on this run. Berkeley Lights, don't know much about this one. Uh, just going sideways uh, to, to Cirrus, C-E-R-S. Just in a big trading range out here. Uh, and kind of got into the previous highs with about uh, just a little less volume than the March 1st high. Uh, it's been banging around the lows. Actually had two uh, false breakdowns, April 22nd and June 16th uh, of the uh, January 28th low, $4.67. Uh, 
Uh, let's see what these guys do that those guys don't do. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Okay. Uh, I hate pop-up ads. Uh, operates in a biomedical products company. Company focuses on developing, commercializing intercept blood system to enhance blood safety. Well, my blood's inside me, so it's pretty safe. Uh, proprietary technology for controlling biological replication that is designed to reduce bloodborne pathogens in donated blood. Okay, so they clean up blood that's already left you or left somebody, which is okay. So, uh, intercept blood systems, huh? Anyway, uh, clean blood for all, says Cirrus. Uh, but, uh, eh. Nice trading range out there. C Gen. What do we have here? CompuGen. Uh, yeah. It doesn't look good. Uh, yesterday he had 500, well, let's call it 600,000 shares, uh, breaking through the May 16th high that had 1.66 million shares. So a lot of these penny stocks did bounce. This did have a nice uh, test of the low almost twice. May uh, 11th low, $1.66 uh, with 1.6 million shares got tested by 600,000 shares. It came back a little bit back on June 30th, 800,000 shares. And you quite didn't get into that low, but certainly another low on lighter volume, 800,000 shares, half of the volume of the May 11th shares, and now you're going back up. Uh, yeah, like I said, a lot of these things just look rain-bound at the moment. Uh, coin, Coinbase, uh, a big triangle pattern. Uh, you actually did get kind of a lower low on June 30th, but this thing kind of just kind of looks like it's... Uh, Going to base out here around this mid. What did it get to? What is it now here today? 61 bucks. Maybe a little 58 bucks. Maybe something like that. Looks like it wants to go sideways for a while. Uh, CRISPR Therapeutics uh, banging away at highs. Um, you had a nice high of 7.5 million shares on June 21st. Got into that yesterday with 2.7 million shares, a little doji out here. So you have the makings of a potential triple top, but no confirmation of that yet. Uh, DraftKings, uh, the bookie to the Internet. And uh, eh, no, no question about whether or not you have to have a broken nose to work at this place. But uh, certainly... Uh, your bookie. Uh, DKNG is the symbol. Uh, and certainly uh, May 12th set the low with 32 million shares. You tried to get, well, you at least got back into the top end of the candle with 21 million shares, but couldn't go out and even test the top end of that. Uh, it was a little lighter with 15 million shares compared to the 19 million share high of May 12th. And now you're kind of going out sideways out here. Uh, let's see what else we have. Ginkgo Biloga Bioworks. Ginkgo. Okay. Uh, actually, you got some better volume over the long. You had 26 million shares yesterday. This one, actually, I don't know what these guys do, but we will find out here. To to to. Develops platform for cell programming. Its program its platform is used to program cells to enable biological production of products such as novel therapeutics, food ingredients. Uh, ew. Scary. But uh, profitable, apparently, well, other than today's light volume. As I said, a lot of these things are kind of range-bound. Uh, kind of, uh, the, Probably the best thing for them right now would be to go sideways and uh, consolidate uh, out at least the levels that they're at now. Exact Sciences, E-X-A-S, has kind of come back and filled this, uh, uh, this big down thrust from the 9th of June. Uh, started with uh, 2.2 million shares, yeah, on the 9th. Um, you have a untested low out there, which I dislike, the June 16th low, 3534. Uh, see if there's anything even farther back on this thing that goes back. Well, you did get back into the 30, 35, 25 
low of March 18, 2020. That had 3 million shares. Um, and you got into it with 2 million shares, so there is a valid test of that over time. So, eh. Yeah, you got a lot of gaps to fill uh, and a lot of resistance, but uh, looks like that would come in at about 50 bucks. Uh, what do we have here? Fate Therapeutics. A uh, nice bounce off the low on this one. Of course, it went back to a giant gap that goes back to uh, December 9th of 2019, where that came up on 8.3 million shares. Uh, came back and tested it with two. And, uh, you know, quite a rip off the bottom in biotech. We'll be back in a minute. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. As we return, what are the fundamental factors that should be considered for the bull case or the bear case in the next six months? for the socks and semiconductors. I think it's all about whether uh, China decides to invade uh, Taiwan. Um, you know, is it nothing? No. Is it 50%? No. Could it be 10, 15, 20%, one in five? Could be, um, you know, if, if you watch uh, either British news or Australian news or even German news, you'd have a very different view of the United States than you would have if you're watching the uh, uh, news here in the United States uh, for 95% of uh, the reporting that goes on. Um, 
And I would say that if the Chinese are watching that, they would think that uh, we're an incredibly weak nation. Um, again, very different uh, kind of uh, coverage than you get uh, here in the United States. But uh, I would say uh, that's it. Do the Chinese really believe it? Are they just going to continue to try to rattle their sabers until they get what they want, which is probably the preferred way, because they're probably afraid that if they invade, they'll blow up all the semiconductor places, and uh, maybe the, the smart guys will all take a plane off and uh, be able to start their business somewhere else, and all that uh, China will have is a uh, pile of rubble and 200 million people out of business. Because remember, that is the opposite side, and that is that they've got maybe 200 million people uh, that uh, rely on assembling and uh, packaging uh, semiconductor equipment, uh, cell phones, everything uh, that could possibly, I'm going to say 150 million of them could be out of work tomorrow. And uh, if you're uh, if you're a dyed in the wool commie, uh, as the uh, current uh, leader of China is, you know, you, 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 do you think you can? What is it? What is uh, 150 million starving people going to do for overthrowing your government? So they've got that on one side. Uh, they've got the idea. I would suspect, if you watched all the other coverage, uh, that. Uh, we don't have a lot of backbone or thought for standing up for Taiwan that we'll do kind of the same thing that we did with uh, with uh, uh, the Ukraine, which is not get personally involved, but, you know, sell a lot of arms. I don't know if that would probably not going to work very well with Taiwan. So hard to understand the uh, the calculations that go into it. But uh, I think if there was one fundamental factor in the very short term, you got to think uh, that maybe the overhead uh, from um, the from video cards being sold for the next few months are probably a big issue. But uh, I would say six months. I would you know the real thing is whether the Chinese do something, and they could do it at any point. And I don't know what our response would be, but uh, not good when you get to two uh, people in a fight and both of them have uh, nuclear weapons. And that is the issue. Uh, okay, question up here. Da, 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 da. Okay, can you show the vector C R C F R X? to CRFX CRFX what is that CFRX excuse me dyslexia cure for found um contrafect corporation it looks like uh, you got down on 200,000 shares today uh, well, certainly came down on huge energy. You got a higher volume low at 276. So the next thing you'd want to do is test uh, $2.11. And uh, today's candle, yeah, looks like you could do it. I uh, don't know much about this company. What is it? What do they do? Okay. Uh, clinical stage biotech company. Okay. So it could do anything. Uh, un unknown. Okay, other stocks uh, out here. T -t -t Robin Hood. This is kind of interesting. It is basing out. Uh, it really hadn't got a lot, you know, on, on a percentage basis, you know, you got down to $6.81. Um, could you call this an ABC on the way up? It's interesting. Let's see if we actually have anything here for this. Um, yeah, you kind of, okay, the ABC that you kind of had did get right 
pretty close to the seven dollars and sixty or excuse me six dollars and seventy one cents got to six dollars and eighty one cents on june twelfth that was the abc um see if we can't do this this is kind of a tight one I'll make that one as a okay we'll make this one let's see so you retrace 66 percent that's pretty steep for robin hood but that would tell you that uh, ten dollars and 69 cents would be a one-to-one -one abc and of course you got uh, all its little friends up there uh right around the uh high ten dollar mark so yeah, could you get that you could um my guess is it probably would need to consolidate a little bit more before it takes a run okay uh thoughts on tlt well when's the next uh, fed meeting uh mr fed calendar where are you at uh, Two. Okay. Uh, July 26. So the question is uh, on July, what, 26th, 27th, do you get uh, 50, 75? I don't know. I haven't looked at the numbers lately. Generally, they don't seem to track until you get to about the last week on actually being real meaningful as of late anyway so i don't you know you get those numbers and people do bet i just don't think they it's kind of like a horse race you know it's the last 10 minutes that you really uh set the odds and uh i kind of think like the last week i'll probably start paying attention to that but uh i think everybody kind of betting on 0.75 now right three quarters could be interesting but like i said I'm kind of driving like I'm in the worst snowstorm and fog that I've ever been. I'm not looking that far out, uh, lest I end up in a 40-car pileup on the interstate. Uh, and that's how people do it. They think that they can see a lot farther than we can. I can, you know, if the market had no Fed, I, I think that uh, I could predict a lot better because uh, I can tell what a lot of people are going to do. It's much tougher to know what five or six or seven or eight people are going to do in the fed uh but uh, certainly you know we get kind of some ideas but i you know everybody i know is betting on three quarters of a percent but um uh, we'll talk a little more about the tlt when we return Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it could seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Direction's Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. As we return, we were talking about the TLT. You know, it just looks to me, you got 9 million shares today, you're probably going to end up with 11, uh, maybe 11 and a half. It looks like you're probably going to retest the uh, last low here, which was 110.65. And uh, so we'll probably have some kind of decision. But it's hard for me to get too optimistic on thinking that, uh, these, that this is doing anything but going lower. Uh, staring down the barrel of a uh, three-quarter of a percent height, rate hike and probably yet another one following that. So I think we get that one and then we get one more probably in September and that's uh, probably it uh, until the elections. They generally don't like to pop one out one, you know, the day before uh, November 2nd. But uh, that's kind of, I think you get one, yeah, I'd have to go back and look at it, but I think there's a, possible rate hike in the first week or two of September but uh, so looking at least uh, into the beginning of the fall with another point and a half uh, hard to say uh, to, to, yeah um, somebody asked I saw that article out today on the Starlink which is the internet service from uh, uh, SpaceX yeah, they've got this really expensive system for cruise ships now for uh, for that. It's uh, five grand a month and uh, 10 grand for the equipment. Probably not a big expense for a cruise ship. I know they've got systems now, but it's kind of like you can do email without attachments or something. But uh, yeah, this would be, I think, much uh, higher bandwidth for those. But I mean, even kind of... Uh, uh, luxury 100 footers or something could buy that, I guess, uh, if you've got to read your teletype while you're out in the middle of the ocean. But uh, it's interesting. Uh, I think uh, more interesting to me are a lot of the areas that are not served at all across the world. Uh, I think that he's probably got a good business. I don't know how the dollars and cents comes up, though. Uh, will it pay for all those satellites? Hard to tell. Uh, let's take a quick look, uh, since that is on the list of stocks that we're going to get to. Tesla had a nice little bounce this morning. Come on, there we go. Uh, it's coming right up to uh, where it is finding uh, resistance, or I would suspect is resistance. A uh, huge gap down on the 3rd of June. That was on 37.5 million shares. Uh, coming into that today so far with 27 million shares so yeah is it going to be that bad no maybe 32 million shares by the end of the day it is friday uh maybe something changes but looks to me like you're just going to get uh, a great deal of range bound stuff uh could you pull back 50 bucks and then maybe uh, after earnings and uh, cpi numbers next week get the next move up that's kind of my thinking at the moment but i don't have a real good signal on anything. I am all cash. As I said yesterday, I went to all cash yesterday and wait for a better 
fatter pitch out here. Uh, we're up uh, 11 points on the S&P cash. Uh, Nasdaq's up 37. Dow's up 92. But, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we don't have much. Uh, of course, uh, interestingly enough, we've got uh, – Options expiration next Friday for the monthlies. So a lot going on in that. So we've got about four and a half minutes. Uh, 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 okay. And I think I got that. Okay. Let's go back to some of these other ones. Uh, question about Roku. Uh, this was the uh, company that forever I said I when they were 300 bucks. I have no idea how they make money. I still kind of don't know how they make money. Uh, but certainly they're a third of the price that they were. Um, the only thing I can tell you is I've got it in two of my televisions. And uh, they automatically try to add more channels. So my guess is that... Uh, the, uh, since I have two remotes and they both do the exact same thing, I'm not figuring that that's a mistake. I think they must get paid uh, for adding channels and steering people uh, to look at their uh, fair, where their fares. But uh, I don't know. I still just don't understand how they make a lot of money. Um, but uh, generally, that's a good stock for me to stay away from if I don't understand it. Uh, to, to, but I but I told you I didn't understand it. <laughs> uh, to, 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 what else do we have here? Uh, roadblocks, <laughs> uh, roadblocks. Uh, actually, some decent volume today as it breaks through. It is holding its highs, and of course this is the uh, game company that was so revered at one time. Uh, let's go back here. 141 bucks and 60 cents on November 22nd of 2021. Um, I was never high on the, and I, I'll tell you that there's a couple of different kinds of game companies. And they're the game companies that have flappy birds and everybody starts playing it and they become famous and maybe they have a couple of hits. Uh, they're much more like the movie theater business where someone will have a big run of a couple of movies that everybody wants to come out and see and then you know they'll have the uh, sixth sense and then they'll have uh, unbreakable and then they'll have a string of movies that no one has seen uh if you know m night sham uh, Shyamalan. Shyamalan? anyway m night a uh, couple of great movies and then a bunch of stinkers and the problem is that this really doesn't uh, – there isn't a lot of franchise building out in this. And the bigger companies in this sector, like Electronic Arts and some of the other ones out here, uh, they've done a great job of uh, building a franchise uh, where they can uh, put out the next uh, new version of the game that, uh, you know, 100 million people play. And so they get 100 million shares or 100 million uh, sales of something that costs 60 bucks. Uh, and yeah, I mean the the uh, budgets for a lot of these things are 250 million, 300 bucks, uh, 300 million. But uh, let's compare that to the movie theater, where they threw uh, I think uh, I'm trying to remember which one it was, which movie. Anyway, uh, it was just out. I think it was Buzz Lightyear. Uh, total. Uh, Output is going to be $600 million to produce the thing in all the countries and everything else. And the, I think more than half of that was uh, advertising. And uh, they're going to be lucky to get back three-fourths of that. So it, it, it's kind of a better bet, I think, uh, for these big franchises. As long as the games don't horribly stink, in which case they do test them. And find out whether people like them or not, and then change them as they go along. Uh, movies, not so much. They kind of, if it stinks, uh, eh, they kind of just uh, soldier on, uh, even though uh, people aren't going to like it. But uh, eh, it's tough. Uh, still got, uh, if you got a, a burning question, 
There's uh, ointments and lotions for that. Or you can call me at 877-927-6648. got two minutes. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. And we've got uh, Jeff from Philly. How are you doing today, Jeff? Uh, good, David. How are you? Great. Um, so I'll be real succinct. I know we're short on time. Uh, if um, prosecutors were successful in scaring the big banks out of manipulating uh, the precious metals markets, would you suspect that the precious metals would shoot up in value? Um, no. I kind of take the uh, approach of great stock operators and commodities operators. Have you uh, ever read uh, Reminiscences of a Stock Operator? Yes, it is. Okay. So you know all about stock manipulation. 
Right. This is actually, you know, in response yesterday, Tom uh, started reading this article from Bloomberg, which I found and read, and it looked like uh, some prosecutors are going to get serious about coming down on uh, J.P. Morgan, etc. And it occurred to me that uh, it seems like conventional wisdom says precious metals are being held underwater through this manipulation. So if the manipulation stopped, wouldn't it seek its natural value, which should be a lot higher? Um, no. I think in the short term you can move a lot. In the long term you can't. So um, I, I know uh, – I'll turn that down. Uh, I know that uh, you know a lot of people want to think about a, uh, a kind of a, you know, a big reason for that. And, yeah, in the short term, can they manufacture a market for two weeks? They can. But over the long term, it wouldn't be this way unless uh, there were a lot of other reasons for it. So, no, I'm not subscribing to that. Okay. Sell when you can, right, thank you. not when you have to. We'll see you on Monday. Same bat channel, same bat time. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible.